Boom. Okay, right now, I'm gonna show you guys uh, and work with Harper here on the way to the door, okay? This is like the first part of leash walking because if we can't get out the door, then we can't go for the walk, all right? So the whole point of this is that she should never just forge ahead or go through a door without you saying, let's go or go through, okay? She should always sit and wait for your cue to go through, okay? She should never just go through on her own, all right? So the way that we're gonna do this is I have a treat. We're gonna say, let's go, we're gonna walk towards the door. I'm gonna stop. She should automatically sit when I stop. If she doesn't, I'll give her a second or two. And if she still doesn't, then I'll ask her for the sit, okay? I'll treat her. Then I'm gonna open hand stop sign in front of her face. I'll tell her to wait. Then I'll open the door and I'll say, let's go. And we'll both go through together, okay? You ready? You ready? Okay, let's go. Yes. Harper, wait. Uh uh. Sit. Okay, if she moves, I just tell, tell her to cue her again. Let's go. Yay, very good. Come on. Let's go. Go back in. Come on. Harper. What do we do? Sit. That's it. Come on. Harper, sit. Good girl. Okay, let's go. All right. Very good. I think she was surprised, but didn't keep going out that time. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, that was very good. The whole point is that she maintains that, that she's under control. Okay. We, like, like I keep saying, we never want them to just forge ahead or just go through the door on their own. Now, when you're at home, you practice this on all the doors, sliding glass doors, front door, door that goes into the garage, okay? If you do this enough, this will become the routine that whenever she goes outside or goes to leave the house, that she always sits and waits for your cue, okay? Good girl.